It's important for, for a, a party that aspires to be the alternative to government to have diverse people on it from different backgrounds uh, and from different parts of the community. I think the faces that are coming forward do that. I think it's a strong and talented set of people. There are some people who can make a real contribution from different sectors uh, of society. It, I think it represents also an exciting time for the GSD because this is a record number of, of candidates in the two rounds that we have had. Um, and I think it also reflects on the fact that people want to participate, there's, uh, there's a desire for change, and people are prepared to stand up and be counted, and that's a good thing for Gibraltar. Well, let's look at um, one uh, well-known name on the list, uh, Joseph Capuro. He's led a very uh, prominent campaign for the Community Care Action Group. Does this mean that the GSD will be supporting the group's ambitions? Look, uh, the, the GSD has issued press releases about different issues, whether it's about special needs or whether it's about education or whether it's about community care or the public finances. I'm not going to speak about specific candidates because it wouldn't be fair for me, the party leader, to home in on a particular candidate and look as if I'm endorsing one candidate or another. So Mr. Capuro could potentially join the executive, but the GSD may not necessarily support all of Community Care Action Group's demands. Is that the case then? Well, look, I, the, the GSD, the GSD's party policy is set by the MPs, by the leadership team and by the executive. Mr. Capuro is not, uh, he's an ordinary member of the party um, and uh, the GSD's uh, views on individual issues uh, may differ from any of the 20 people that are, are on that candidate list uh, who are also in various associations or lobby groups. We may not agree with some of them on some issues or on all issues, or we may agree with them on everything. But, uh, but you can't sort of align individuals with what is... G uh, G uh, with, you can't align the GSD's policy with individuals' views um, just because they uh, are in the candidate list. Finally, the GSD has said it thinks an election could be called in the next three months. How many current MPs would stay on and how many of these new faces do you think we might see? Well, I mean, the selection of candidates for a general election is done by the, by the party executive. When an election is called, um, the MPs the, will decide if they want to offer themselves for reselection. Uh, there will be others, of course, who also offer themselves for selection and then the executive will, will choose the candidates that will, will fight the election for the GSD. What I will say is that the team that we are aspiring to build is a, is a strong team that will present an alternative to this government and that we hope to deliver change and persuade as many people of Gibraltar as possible to back the GSD so that we can achieve that change that is so needed in Gibraltar. I believe that we will be in a position when the election is next called that we can transmit that desire for change and that people will see a reinvigorated, exciting new GSD.